Greetings, dear learners. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we are going to embark on an exciting journey of learning and discovery as we delve into the fascinating world of business ethics and social responsibility. So, sit back, relax, and get ready to expand your knowledge and understanding on this topic. And as always, please take care and stay safe. May God bless you always. Welcome to the Teacher Lumaban YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. A beautiful day must always begin with a positive mindset. Are you ready to pray? Let us pray. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you for the opportunity to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Bless our teachers who inspire and guide us. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our classmates and all the people who care for us. Bless us, help us to be more attentive, patient, and diligent to understand the lessons that our teachers teach us. Bless our beloved country that we may have unity, peace, and prosperity. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Class rules. Listen when someone is talking. Emphasizes the importance of active listening in the classroom. Follow directions quickly and quietly highlights the significance of obedience and discipline in the classroom. Raise your hand to speak is important in the classroom as it promotes a structured and orderly environment for learning. Respect others. Respect yourself and respect your school, emphasizes the importance of respect within the classroom setting. Be safe, be honest emphasizes two essential values in the classroom, safety, and honesty. Cell phones are not allowed, because it can be distracting, leading to reduced attention and engagement in the learning process. In the context of corporate social responsibility, CSR, what is the primary difference between a model and a framework? A. A model provides a specific set of guidelines and actions, while a framework is a more flexible structure for developing CSR strategies. B. A model is a comprehensive approach to CSR, while a framework is a narrower set of principles. C. A model focuses on external stakeholder engagement, while a framework emphasizes internal policies and practices. D. A model is a theoretical concept, while a framework is a practical implementation of CSR initiatives. Which of the following best describes the role of a model in the context of corporate social responsibility, CSR? A model in CSR refers to a physical representation of a company's social and environmental responsibilities. A model in CSR provides a step-by-step -step guide for businesses to implement CSR initiatives. A model in CSR is a theoretical framework that explains the principles and concepts of CSR. A model in CSR is a marketing tool used by businesses to promote their social and environmental initiatives. According to Milton Friedman's model, what is the primary responsibility of a business? Maximizing profits for its shareholders. Promoting social welfare. Addressing social issues. Creating job opportunities and economic growth. 
which stage of Ackerman CSR model involves actively executing the project by integrating policies and strategies to achieve project goals. Awareness stage. Planning stage. Implementation stage. Evaluation stage. According to Archie Carroll's CSR model, which of the following responsibilities is not included in the CSR pyramid? Economic responsibility. Legal responsibility. Environmental responsibility. Philanthropic responsibility. At the end of the lesson the learners shall be able to Define personal action plan. Describe smart characteristics. Enumerate guidelines and implementing a personal action plan. The various individual believes that planning is a waste of time because of its crucial process. However, in preparing and implementing a business enterprise an action plan is essential to be in the right information, in the right direction. I'm a manager of one of the student cooperative in our school. I created a personal action plan on how to achieve my goals in reaching the companies. As a student, I will also create a personal action plan of how can I achieve higher grades. A good action plan can make it less complicated for you to track and realize your goals. Whether you have a career, business, or a non-public goal, you can use this to create a clear direction towards success. Our topic this time is about preparing and implementing a personal action plan. Unlocking of difficulties. Pag-unlock ng mga kahirapan. Personal action plan is a blueprint or map of an individual for the business enterprise. It is a checklist for the task that needs to be completed to achieve the goals of the business enterprise. Ang personal action plan ay isang blueprint o mapa ng isang individual para sa negosyong negosyo. Ito ay isang checklist para sa gawain na kailangang tapusin upang makamit ang mga layunin ng negosyong negosyo. Which of the following best describes a personal action plan? A financial statement for tracking expenses in a business enterprise. A strategic roadmap outlining the long-term goals of a business enterprise. A blueprint or map outlining an individual's tasks to achieve business goals. A document outlining the organizational structure of a business enterprise. The easy guide in preparing and implementing a personal action plan. Ang madaling gabay sa paghahanda at pagpapatupad ng personal na plano ng aksyon. Setting smart goals, an effective personal action plan begins with setting up goals using the smart outline. Goals created with a smart structure have the following characteristics. Pagtatakda ng mga layunin ng smart, ang isang epektibong personal na plano ng aksyon ay nagsisimula sa pag-setup ng mga layunin gamit ang smart outline. Ang mga layunin ginawa gamit ang isang smart na istruktura ay may mga sumusunod na katangian. Specific, it must be clearly defined. Tukoy, dapat itong malinaw na tinukoy. Measurable, it can be measured. Masusukat, ito ay masusukat. Attainable, achievable within the available resources. Maabot, maabot sa loob ng magagamit ng mga mapagkukunan. Relevant, align with the abilities, need, interests, and other goals. Kaugnay, iayon sa mga kakayahan, pangangailangan, interest, at iba pang layunin. Time-based, it has a specific deadline. Batay sa oras, mayroon itong tiyak na deadline. Which of the following characteristics is not associated with setting SMART goals? Specific Measurable Attainable Irrelevant Time-based Getting in the right mindset after setting SMART goals, it is necessary to improve as an individual and have a better life. Assess where you'd wish to be within the future. Learn from the mistake and start a new chapter in life. Then identify what motivates and inspires you. Pagkuha sa tamang pag-iisip, pagkatapos magtakda ng mga layunin ng SMART, kailangang pagbutihin bilang isang individual at magkaroon ng mas magandang buhay. Tayahin kung saan mo gustong mapunta sa hinaharap, matuto sa pagkakamali at magsimula ng bagong kabanata sa buhay. 
Pagkatapos ay tukuyin kung ano ang nag-uudyok at nagbibigay inspirasyon sa iyo. Which of the following steps is not necessary for getting in the right mindset and improving as an individual? Setting smart goals. Assessing where you'd wish to be within the future. Learning from mistakes and starting a new chapter in life. Identifying what motivates and inspires you. Dividing the main goal, it is important to complete a smaller task in order to reach the goal. This method involves splitting the main goal into smaller tasks. This will result to slowly move closer to the main goal in a systematic manner. Paghahati sa pangunahing layunin, mahalagang kumplituhin ang isang mas maliit na gawain upang maabot ang layunin. Ang pamamaraang ito ay nagsasangkot ng paghahati ng pangunahing layunin sa mas maliliit na gawain. Magre-resulta ito sa dahanda ang paglapit sa pangunahing layunin sa isang sistematikong paraan. Which approach involves dividing the main goal into smaller tasks to systematically progress towards the main goal? Incremental approach. Sequential approach. Random approach. Simultaneous approach. Set deadlines. It is also necessary to set a deadline for completing the smaller task. Make sure that the time limit is realistic, then consult a person with an idea in the assigned task. It is essential to create deadlines to maintain consistent progress toward the goal. Magtakda ng mga deadline, kailangan ding magtakda ng deadline para sa pagkumpleto ng mas maliit na gawain. Siguraduhin na ang limitasyon sa oras ay makatotohanan, pagkatapos ay kumonsulta sa isang taong may ideya sa nakatalagang gawain. Mahalagang lumika ng mga deadline upang mapanatili ang pare-parehong pag-unlad patungo sa layunin. Which of the following statements is true about setting deadlines for tasks? Deadlines are unnecessary and hinder progress. Deadlines should always be set unrealistically to push for faster completion. Deadlines are essential for maintaining consistent progress toward a goal. Deadlines are only important for large tasks, not smaller ones. Identify the resources and qualifications needed. All the required resources and needs must be already available. A plan is necessary to acquire the resources if this is not available. Tukuyin ang mga mapagkukunan at kwalifikasyon na kailangan. Ang lahat ng kinakailangang mapagkukunan at pangangailangan ay dapat na magagamit na. Ang isang plano ay kinakailangan upang makuha ang mga mapagkukunan kung ito ay hindi magagamit. Resources, it is a source of supply, support, or aid, especially one that is utilized when needed. Mga mapagkukunan, ito ay isang mapagkukunan ng supply, suporta, o tulong, lalo na ang isa na ginagamit kapag kinakailangan. Qualifications, it is a quality or skill that fits an individual or it is a condition or standard that must be complied. Kwalifikasyon, ito ay isang kalidad o kasanayan na akma sa isang individual o ito ay isang kondisyon o pamantayan na dapat sundin. Which of the following best describes the resources and qualifications needed for a task? Resources are necessary for completing the task, while qualifications refer to the skills and qualities required for the individual performing the task. Resources are the conditions or standards that must be complied with, while qualifications are the sources of supply or aid utilized when needed. Resources refer to the skills and qualities required for the individual performing the task, while qualifications are the conditions or standards that must be complied with. Resources and qualifications are interchangeable terms and can be used interchangeably for any task. Monitor your progress. It is necessary to describe how you will ensure to perform every small task created to accomplish the principal goal. With this action you will have a clearer idea on the progress you are making toward the goal. Identify the methods that you will use to monitor the progress like the number of tasks completed or quantitative measures. Subaybayan ang iyong pag-unlad, kinakailangang ilarawan kung paano mo titiyakin na gagampanan ang bawat maliit na gawaing nilikha upang may isa katuparan ng pangunahing layunin. Sa pagkilos na ito, magkakaroon ka ng mas malino na ideya sa pag-unlad na iyong ginagawa patungo sa layunin. Tukuyin ang mga pamamaraan na iyong gagamitin upang subaybayan ang pag-unlad tulad ng bilang ng mga gawaing natapos o dami ng mga hakbang. Which of the following methods can be used to monitor progress towards a goal? 
Tracking the number of tasks completed. Qualitative analysis of task completion. Ignoring small tasks and focusing on the principal goal. Relying solely on quantitative measures. Evaluate and update. It is essential to give some time to evaluate the progress you've made in your action plan. Generate a mark on the job that you have completed. This will identify the tasks that are pending or delayed. It can help find suitable solutions for the unfinished job and can give an update on the personal action plan. Suriin at ay update, mahalagang magbigay ng ilang oras upang suriin ang pagunlad na nagawa mo sa iyong plano ng pagkilos. Bumuho ng marka sa trabaho na iyong natapos, tutukuyin nito ang mga gawaing nakabinbin o naantala. Makakatulong ito sa paghahanap ng mga angkop na solusyon para sa hindi natapos na trabaho at makapagbibigay ng update sa personal na plano ng aksyon. Which of the following statements is true about evaluating and updating an action plan? Evaluating progress helps identify completed tasks and pending slash delayed tasks. Evaluating progress is not necessary for an action plan. Evaluating progress only helps in finding solutions for finished tasks. Evaluating progress has no impact on personal action plans. Take action and stay positive. The only way to assist and to practice ethics and social responsibility in the business is by doing something. Always refer to your action plan regularly and make it accessible for you. Don't allow yourself to self-doubt and be discouraged. Always look forward and stay positive. The action plan may need to be adjusted as you progress. Kumilos at manatiling positibo ang tanging paraan upang tumulong at may sigawa ang etika at responsibilidad sa lipunan sa negosyo ay sa pamamagitan ng paggawa ng isang bagay. Palaging sumangguni sa iyong plano ng aksyon ng regular at gawin itong naa-access para sa iyo. Huwag hayaan ng iyong sarili na mag-alinlangan sa sarili at masiraan ng loob, laging umasa at manatiling positibo. Maaaring kailangang ayusin ang plano ng aksyon habang sumusulong ka. Which of the following statements aligns with the recommended approach to practicing ethics and social responsibility in business? Avoid taking action and rely solely on the existing action plan. Frequently doubt your abilities and let discouragement hinder progress. Regularly refer to and make your action plan easily accessible. Resist making any adjustments to the action plan as you progress. Activity 1 Directions, answer true if the statement is correct and answer false if otherwise. The action plan assesses where the competitor wishes to be in the future. Setting up deadlines used to take some action anytime they want. A blueprint or map of an individual for the business enterprise is called a personal action plan. Taking action cannot assist and practice ethics and social responsibility. Setting deadlines establishes the targeted date to finish.
Activity 2 Directions, read the sentences carefully. Identify what is being referred to in each sentence. What does one call the individual checklist for the task that must be completed to realize the goals of the business enterprise? What activity is ideal for the SMART framework? What guideline in preparing and implementing a personal action plan involves examining the progress of the action plan? What does one call the goal structure that's clearly defined, are often measured, is achievable, is aligned, and has a selected deadline? Which guideline in preparing and implementing an individual action plan involves learning from the error and starting a fresh chapter in life?
Activity 3 Directions, Answer SMART if the statement describes SMART goals and answer NOT if otherwise. Ivy would like to change careers from customer support to design. Mark knows that his goal is to become a sales manager. But he's not sure where to begin. Shell wants to get a job in the healthcare industry but doesn't have industry experience. Maybe Ellen wants to buy a brand new car when she received her share in selling their assets. Linda doesn't want to improve her emotional intelligence.
Activity for directions, answer, check, if the statement is about setting goals and answer, x, if it does not set goals. Has an exact plan for achieving success. Use the time to best ability and sticks to plan. Don't procrastinate in doing necessary tasks to advance goals. Does not have a plan for success and gets stalled along the way. Does not know what to spend time on to achieve success.
Let's sum it up directions, choose from the box the correct answer to each statement. S equals specific, M equals measurable, A equals attainable, R equals realistic, T equals time-based. The goal setter will have the appropriate college degree for the job. The goal setter is planning to get a job in the education industry after getting a college diploma. The goal setter has set a deadline to achieve his slash her objective within the three months following graduation. The goal of becoming a high school math teacher is well defined. Success can be measured by the number of applications, interviews, and job offers.
What do you call the individual checklist for the task to be completed to achieve the goals of the business enterprise? A. Action plan. B. Business plan. C. Individual check. D. Personal action plan. What activity or action is used for the SMART framework? A. Setting goals. B. Setting deadlines. C. Dividing the main goal. D. Getting in the right mindset. What is the best definition of a personal action plan? A. It is achievable within the available resources. B. It assesses where you'd wish to be within the future. C. It is a blueprint or map of an individual for the business enterprise. D. It is relevant and aligns with the abilities, needs, and interests to the goals. Which statement supports setting deadlines? A. It establishes the targeted closing date. B. It is a type of method used to take some action or activity. C. It is the person's ambition or effort, an aim, or desired result. D. It's about the latest period in which something should be completed. What guideline in preparing and implementing a personal action plan involves checking the development of the plan? A. Evaluate and update. B. Monitor the progress. C. Take action and stay positive. D. Identify the resources and qualifications needed. What do you call to the goal structure that is clearly defined, can be measured, is achievable, is aligned, 
and has a specific deadline. A. Goal. B. Smart goal. C. Goal setting. D. Specific goal. Which of the following guidelines in preparing and implementing a personal action plan involves learning from the mistake and starting a new chapter in life? A. Setting deadlines. B. Dividing the main goal. C. Getting in the right mindset. D. Identifying the resources needed. Which of the following required needs in preparing and implementing a personal action plan comprises the quality or skill that fits an individual? A. Machine. B. Resources. C. Financial. D. Qualification. Which guideline in preparing and implementing a personal action plan comprises splitting the primary goal into different sections? A. Setting deadlines. B. Dividing the main goal. C. Getting in the right mindset. D. Identifying the resources needed. What idea is applied in setting deadlines in preparing and implementing a personal action plan? A. It is fundamental to abandon regular growth toward the goal. B. It is integral to intemperance steady growth towards the goal. C. It is essential to maintain consistent progress toward the goal. D. It is indispensable to intemperance ordinary growth toward the goal.
I hope you found a lecture on preparing and implementing a personal action plan insightful and gained new knowledge. If you found value in this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. We welcome your feedback, questions, and suggestions, which you can leave in the comment section below. Thank you for tuning in to Teach Lumaban's YouTube channel, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. May God bless you always.